you run a digital marketing agency, I've got something really exciting I wanna walk you through. It's called the Ultimate Agency Funnel. Uh, this is something I presented at the High Level Summit earlier this year. It was really well received, so I thought it'd be great to create a video for you to kind of walk you through exactly what it is, how it works, and how you can implement it in your agency to get clients to come to you pre-positioned to buy. So if you're tired of chasing prospects down, if you're tired of relying on just cold outreach and networking and referrals, and you wanna have a systematic approach to have new clients scheduling on your calendar come to you pre-positioned to buy, definitely gonna to wanna to watch this video. So I wanna start off by saying this funnel is proven. This works really, really well. I've been running this for, for several years in our agency and I was just running the math in terms of like the numbers that have actually been produced through this. We generate over 32,000 inbound leads, 2,712 strategy sessions booked, 561 sold retainer-based clients and $1.2 million in MR, monthly recurring revenue generated. If I kind of add it all up, this funnel I'm about to walk you guys through has generated over $32 million in revenue. So this is proven this works for agencies in a niche focused environment uh, and it will work really well for you as well. Um, and so from a high level, the ultimate agency funnel is just a simple three step process. First thing we wanna do is we wanna get the prospects to opt in, then we want them to schedule in on, on an appointment and then we, we have to make sure that we've got a process to convert. Now, you guys have all heard yeah, I need to have opt-ins. I need to have lead magnets and things like that. And so we could talk for a long time about cool lead magnets you could use within your agency. What I wanna focus on is what happens after somebody schedules in or after they request your lead magnet because that's really where most of us drop the ball. Let's just say you're gonna use the lead magnet of a cheat sheet, the, the ultimate cheat sheet for the people in your niche to generate better results online. What I often see is we've got a landing page and after that page is seen, we take it straight to where they can download the lead magnet. It's kind of, okay, go watch the thing. Well, the reality is that is your most captive opportunity with your prospect. Like right when they've opted in for your thing, you want to offer them a shortcut. You want to use a video on that page that says, hey, thanks so much for requesting this cheat sheet. It's going to be awesome. I went ahead and sent it to you via email. Let me walk you through the key concepts that are in this lead magnet. And let me talk to you about why you're gonna to wanna to schedule a time with us now so we can show you how to implement this in your business. I promise if you kinda of add that little component to the front right after somebody opts in for whatever it is, lead magnet, cheat sheet, guide, case study, you give them the shortcut via autoplay video, you're gonna get more of your prospects to do what you want them to do, which is actually schedule in on your calendar. That's the first thing. The second thing is we gotta make sure we're following on up, up on all fronts. I see a lot of agencies, they've got lead magnets like this, somebody opts in and they send the confirmation email, like an email goes out and says, hey, here's the lead magnet. Well, the reality is we need to make sure we absolutely have a follow-up sequence that touches them a number of times, at least seven to 10 times over the next four weeks that will move those people from interested to, to the next step, which is scheduling in. So that's the opt-in process, a couple basic tweaks you can make there. The next thing is we wanna, we wanna have a process where somebody can schedule in. This is at the very bottom of your funnel. This is your, your appointment funnel. And yes, there's simple tools like Calendly and Schedule Once that you can use. High Level is the tool I love and that I suggest. And you know all of these systems can, can let somebody pick a time on the calendar. What I'm gonna suggest is you have a dedicated page, a dedicated page that says, hey, if you're ready to take your niche business, whatever it is, roofing company, AC company, plumbing company in our case, to the next level, I'd like to offer you a complimentary strategy session. We'll look at your online marketing strategy, we'll show you exactly where there's room for improvement and kind of sell them on why they want to schedule this appointment. Now, again, that's simple stuff, really where I find most agencies drop the ball, they miss, they don't wind up getting the full outcome, is what happens after they book the time, right? They've just said, I'll, I'll meet with you on Thursday at four o'clock through the scheduling platform that's where they're most captive. So you really want to sell them on showing up for the appointment. You want to sell them on the value they're going to get on that appointment. So we want to do that through autoplay on the confirmation page. And then we really don't just want them to come in and be like, okay, let's see how this goes. We want to warm them up. Ideally, your appointment process takes somebody that might not know you to the point where they've gotten some value from you and they start to believe that you're world class in your niche by showing them examples and case studies in advance. I'll show you some visuals of this here in a second, but ideally 
we want to have an autoplay video and give them some homework. Hey, take a look at the case study below just so you can get a sense of what's possible for you in your roofing business, in your plumbing business, in your chiropractic company, and give them some homework to kind of pre-assess in advance. We found by adding that simple tweak to our confirmation process, more and more prospects were showing up and they were showing up excited about what we could do, less like, hey, show me, more like, hey, how much is this gonna cost? Let me know in the comments if you think that would be beneficial, if you think you could have more and more clients kind of leaning in when they show up to your appointments as opposed to just showing up and being like, hey, tell me what you can do. So the other thing is we definitely want to like kind of get them excited and ready. And we do that by sending email confirmation. Hey, here, add it to your calendar now. Also following up with that additional homework we want them to get, following up via email and text message to remind them to actually show up. If you've got a show up problem with your appointment process, that's probably where it can be tweaked. Um, and I'll share one ninja hack that really helped us improve our show up rate significantly on the appointment process, and that's leveraging social media in addition to email and text message. What we found is if we can find that person on social media that just scheduled, connect with them, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, connect with them. Now they've scheduled, they see a personal fr friend request, and then shoot them a quick personal video. Hey Bob, I see you just scheduled, really looking forward to our session. If you can get them to accept you and then watch that brief video, I can assure you your show up rate is going to skyrocket compared to what it is right now. So we've talked about the opt-in, we've talked about the appointment. The next thing is, is what I call a hot lead follow-up. I don't know about you, the whole point of our sales process, right? The whole point of our appointment funnel is to get prospects in our niche to schedule in on the calendar, right? And we want them to show up so we can take them through a nice sales process that says, hey, here's what you're doing today, here's there's where there's room for improvement, here's what we can do to help and ask for the business. Now, ideally, the people say yes, they give you the credit card, every now and then you're gonna get the one call close, but what I found is in the agency space, typically the client wants to get a, a, an agreement that kind of explains what's going to be included, they wanna talk it over with some of the team members, and there's a little bit of a, of a follow-up process that goes into actually getting the deal signed. Couple of tips here in your, in your closing process. First of all, make sure you schedule the next appointment right after the meeting. Like never let the meeting go, okay, I'll send you the, the, the overview and we'll take it from there. Right on that call, say, absolutely, that sounds great. Let's schedule a follow-up you know, next, next Thursday at three or whatever time works for them. Get that booked in. But what we found has really helped in our agency to improve our close ratio from appointment to signed deal and with the agencies that we work with in Seven Figure Agency is having what I call a hot lead follow-up, which is a pre-engineered sequence of emails and communication that follows up with those prospects over the next two weeks to remind them, hey, you're still in process, to give them additional details, maybe examples, maybe client references that they could reach out to, and prompts to get them back onto the counter, to get them back in so that you can move them from interested to closed. If you don't have a hot lead follow-up system in place and you think that would be useful, let me know in the comments because this was a game changer for us, especially when we started to integrate two things. Number one, direct mail, right? Everybody's getting emails and automations and things like that, but you can really stand out if you put together a shock and awe package. Uh, just a package that you mail out via FedEx with a copy of your book if you have that and other positioning materials, you're going to stand out because they had a great meeting with you and now they've received this package in the mail. It's, it's really impressive, will make you stand out. And the other thing you want to do is add a deadline to your sales process. Last thing you want to do is have all of your sales appointments sound interested, say, hey, I'll get back to you, schedule that next call, and then it just kind of goes into um, into the state of limbo, where it's like, what, what happened? Is this deal still in play? I, I don't know. That will kill your momentum, it will kill your sales team's momentum. And so engineer right on the sales call, hey listen, can we, can we agree to make a decision on this one way or the other sometime in the next two weeks? And almost everybody will say yes to that. And because they've done that, now you can create your hot lead follow-up so it reverse engineers back over two weeks. So after two weeks, you can send the disconnect. Hey. Appreciate the opportunity. It seems like you've decided not to move forward. You know, is there any feedback you could give me that I could do better in the future? And that disconnect usually kicks the person that was actually interested over the finish line. They're like, no, no, I am gonna do it. Let's, let's get started. Or they don't, right? And then you know you can remove that from the pipeline. You can create more headspace 
for yourself and your team to go focus on deals that are actually going to be in play. So that's the ultimate agency funnel cliff notes version. Um, I've got a visual I'd love to share with you that, that kind of walks you through this entire process and each of the pages in the funnel. It's gonna be hard to see here on the video, but I do have a deep dive training where I walk you through kind of what that opt-in page should look like, what that confirmation page should look like with the video, and kind of moving them to the next step, what the calendar page and the application page should look like when they're ready to schedule in, um, and kind of the nuance in between, like the nuance between the emails that move them to appointment, the retargeting strategy, all the way through to the hot lead follow-up. So if that sounds useful, and you really like to go deep with this and understand exactly how you can implement this in your agency, um, I've developed this ultimate agency checklist, as well as a video-based training, goes about an hour, that shows you exactly how this works, and really kind of takes you in behind the scenes. If you want to grab that, you can go to sevenfigureagency.com slash funnel, or if you happen to be you know, in a place where you can hit a QR code, you can scan this QR code. I hope this has been beneficial. Hopefully you took away some key insights and takeaways. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, if there was some specific aspect of it that was useful. Um, if there's questions, you're like, hey, you know what, I like that idea, but I don't understand it, post that in the comments as well. And be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit the like button, grab your deep dive training on the ultimate agency funnel. And I can't wait to see you implement this and take your agency to the next level. Talk to you soon.